What's up, Jake? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the makeup tutorial you see on the thumbnail. This has been highly requested through my social sites, especially Snapchat, when I posted the picture. And I did the makeup look, and a lot of you guys went crazy for the makeup look. And I was like, it doesn't have much. Like, it's just so, like, so simple, so easy to do. It's just pretty much very, very glowy skin very dewy skin and it's pretty much what i've been using every single day to go out and whatnot and i think the foundation that i use in that makeup look helped the look look more dewy because it was the l'oreal pro glow infallible foundation which that foundation is for that is specific so um i won't be using that type of foundation but i will be using my other one which is the nars all day Lum luminous foundation so i'm guessing it's going to help it a little bit but I'll be incorporating it with the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illuminator. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is very old, but it's a goodie. So um, it's not going to be a tuck through because then we'll be here till tomorrow. For mommies on the go, like if you're on the go and you still want to look like you are presentable, then this tutorial is for you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're starting by prepping our skin with my Derma E Moisturizer and my Hydrating Serum. Prepping my skin is a must. And then what I'm going to do is I'm using the Dr. Branded Pores No More. And I'm going to apply it where my pores are like, hello, I'm here. Alright, and then we are moving on to the NYX HD Concealer in color green. We are canceling all the redness that I have. And then I am blending that with the Gerard Cosmetics BB Illuminator Highlighter something. <laughs> and I am applying that where I want my face to look gluey, glowy. glowy. Never say that right. <laughs> then I'm going in with my NARS foundation, just applying a couple of dots all over the face, and then with a blending buffing. This is a buffing brush actually by e.l.f. I love it. I'm just making sure that everything is well blended all over the face, all over my forehead, up to my hairline, and everything looks even. Then I'm going with the NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm just applying that pretty much, you already know where all the concealer goes, under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, everywhere. And then I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just pretty much dabbing and um, blending all that concealer out. Then I'm going in with the Shade and Light Contour Palette by Kat Von D and I'm using the yellow and the light color and I already hit pan. I'm going to cry. So I'm mixing those two colors with a, under my eyes i'm sorry bone rude <laughs> and then i'm just pretty much carving out the place where i'm going to contour and i'm just applying this where i apply the concealer just to set and hot and brighten and we're going to shake it off and i'm going in with that middle color right there the one that i normally use for um bronzer and i am using a buffing brush and i am applying that to my crease only just a little bit to bring some warmth onto my eyes then I'm going with the Pixie uh, by Petra and the collaboration they did with is Judy Time. And I am grabbing that golden color right in the middle. And I'm applying a shader brush and I'm just applying that onto my lid. And I'm applying that to my lid area. Of course, my brow bone highlight. And then I'm applying a little bit to my contour where I will normally contour just to bring that definition into my space and make it look a lot more bronzer, bronzy. So now I'm using the Pixie by Petra also, but the collaboration with Mariam. And I'm using that golden bronzer right on the corner. I love it, but let me tell you, it is very pigmented. I didn't know that my first time using it, so now I'm gonna go easy on it. But I absolutely love it. All right, then I'm bringing that onto the temples of my face, my forehead, and all that to create a warm look on my face. And I am using all three highlights, actually. Like, I started with the first ones, but now I'm mixing and I make all three of them. They're very subtle. They're not all that, so it's pretty cool for people who don't like a lot of highlight, but it's still beautiful colors. But I mix all three colors to get that bam. But because this color is, this tutorial makeup look is very glowy, I'm using the Artist Couture Illuminati, which is like my holy girl highlight, as you can see. Highlight everywhere I want my face to look highlighted. Then I'm moving on to my lashes, and we are going to make sure that our lashes pop. So I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Lash Primer, and I've seen this does a huge difference on my 
lashes. So I'm just starting with this first. I'm letting it dry. And then I'm going in with my Dream Big Pacifica's a mascara and I am working my way in there making sure that all my lashes are well coated and of course that none of them are clumped up or they look spidery because that's not what we want you can actually um, wear lashes if you like but this is an everyday type of thing so I'm using a spoolie here and I'm cleaning out my lashes making sure that I don't have any spidery lashes we don't want that ladies then we move on to the second eye of course we don't want to leave the eyes without a mascara that will look very weird now for lips very simple nude <laughs> I'm using two colors I'm using the wet n wild cat shoe in nudie patootie and I'm going in on top of that actually with the balm read my lips in the color brown I think it is or something I'll leave it on the description box it's a very nice beautiful nude gloss color and there you have it ladies that is all that i do that's my glowy everyday on the go mom look i really hope you enjoyed it and i really want to see if you recreate this look thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe i love you girls bye